Bubba Sparks asked me to re-put some of this dolphin footage in the vlog. So here it is as the intro. Okay, I get emails every week. Hey, I'm holding too high, I'm holding too low. I don't know where to hold. I can't jump on that pole, it's way too big. Let's fix that. There's a lot of confusion on weight labels and grip and stuff, so here I'm going to try and just explain that in this vlog so I stop getting emails like that. Oh, well, I like responding, but if you can just watch this video, that'll help you out more. Okay, let's do this. So let's have a little class on pole vault labels. Poles have... This isn't a pole, it's a PVC pipe. Pretend it's a pole for my sake. Have a label. So if this pole is a 13,170, every three inches I hold down is roughly five pounds. So that's saying if I hold the very top of the pole, it's a 13,170. If I hold three inches down, now what pole is it? It's a 12,975. Makes sense? Three inches is roughly a handhold. Everyone's hands are different, so if you tape measure it, it works a lot better. Okay, so let's make this a little more easy to understand. So to have this make sense, if this is a 14150 and this is a 13170, the very top of the pole is a 13170, the very top of this pole is a 14150. According to the math, these are the exact same pole. But because of the high school state league rules, someone weighing 160 cannot jump on this pole, but someone weighing 160 can jump on this pole. Which doesn't make any sense, because if you're holding at 13 feet, it's a 13 170. Same pole. These are the exact Whoa. These are the exact same pole. But as you grip higher, then it becomes a 13 3 165. And then it becomes a 136160, a 139155, and then we're at a 1450. So the weight labels are stupid if you don't take the grip into account. But does that make sense? So here's how I think it should be done. Okay, let me get out of this view. If this is the top of the pole, and we need to tape this thing, I don't know if I have enough tape, but I'm gonna try. I'm not really jumping on this pole, so my tape job is lackluster. So here's what I do with every single one of my poles, and here's how, how I tell like coaches what they should do. Take your pole, take a tape measure. Icky bam. Take your favorite Sharpie. Mark every three inches on your pole. And then mark what the heights are. This is a 13170. It's not really, it's PVC pipe, remember that. 13170, so this would be... 12, 9, 6, 3, and then this will be down to 12. And then 11, 9. Great, I see this done a lot, but why don't they add the weights? So it goes from a 13170 to a 175, 180, 185, 190, and 195. So you're trying to tell me somebody holding at 12 foot on this pole who weighs 180 pounds can't use this pole because why? You're afraid it's gonna break? But we just held lower on the pole and made it stiffer, so now it's a 190. You know, the weight label is stupid. Like, it's good to help try and keep people safe who don't know what they're doing. But if you just mark your pole like this, let's say I weigh 200 pounds. I can't hold 12 feet, 11.9, but I could hold 11.6. 11.6 
is the highest I can hold on this pole. But then more schools can use their poles and they don't have to grab as many poles to use. Why don't they do this? Or why don't poles just mark these on there? I know why, because if they did that, they wouldn't sell as many poles. I hope this helps. I hope you guys go and do this. I tell you what, since I didn't do a legit rant of the week, everyone who marks their poles this way and takes a picture of it and hashtags Team Hoot on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter, I will send you stickers. Because this is the smartest way to know what pole to use, what you're holding, and where your grip is at based on your weight. I hope this was helpful. I decided I'm gonna start making films, like stories and stuff, like through YouTube. And so I bought all this camera equipment that I have yet to open. So I need to open that, learn how to use this new camera, and then I'm gonna start telling people stories. I'm kind of passionate about that right now, so that's what I'm going to start doing. I will make a vlog a day for at least a month. When our internet gets better, so they upload a little quicker, that's when that will start, so that's depending on when we get this better internet. So it'll force me to learn the camera, and it will force me to tell better stories. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, what's the first word that comes to your head when you think of ice skating? Good. <laughs> <laughs>